It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders, next on Madden Football. Commanders Field holds a little more than 80,000, and they have come out in droves here in Landover, Maryland. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And off we go in our nation's capital. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading him out, the Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way, first at Oklahoma. Then at USC, big-time talent, big-time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. Caleb going to throw right away. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that falls incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Good hands there by Allen, and the Bears advance the ball. And he may have a new home in Chicago, but you know he's going to be the same reliable weapon out of the slot he's always been. Broke into the league with the Chargers with Phillip Rivers. Then broke in Justin Herbert out there. And now gets the team with a rookie quarterback, Caleb Williams. And you know he's going to be more than reliable and make big plays in the Chicago offense. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing is Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now third down and six to go. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a third and six. Here's Williams. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you use the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. 
I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. They'll fake the give. Now Williams. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. That's good for a first down. His second catch of the opening drive. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Back to the running game with Swift. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that is incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So the Commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here, and it's the rookie Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual-threat athlete at the quarterback position, Beats you with his arm and his legs and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in a position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Well, they go play action. Daniels and this one too low. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Second and ten. Here's Daniels. Open man is Noah Brown. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Washington! Noah Brown, 73 yards. And the Commanders are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because... They thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. 
The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. And they finally bring him down, but he reaches the 16. A huge play there for Chicago. 55 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. Once again, it's Swift. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. But think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. To the air, Williams. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Ah, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Looking to throw is Williams. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. They'll look to throw for it with Williams. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Roma Dunze from six yards away. And the Bears have retaken the lead. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the drive there took six plays, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away.
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. On first and ten, it's Robinson, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here's second and 10. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play, and that'll make it third and 13. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be, and they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line, not near enough to keep the drive alive. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. On the return, Carter. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there, and the Bears take over. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. To throw, Williams. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And the coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Working out of the gun, Williams. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. well. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. This is Swift on the counter, and not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. 
early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw. Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Throwing now is Daniels. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. To the air goes Daniels. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 53 yards. And the Commanders have taken the lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie... Big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Bears offense out there set and ready to go. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. This is second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And a change of scenery in 2023 worked out well for Swift as he racked up a new career high in rushing yards during his lone season as an Eagle. And now he's made the move to Chicago and is expecting to power their running game. Swift going to try up the middle. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second and one. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. And he won that play the way he usually does. Excellent torque, power, and finishes. Quick wins at the line of scrimmage, meaning he's right past the offensive player and puts the quarterback on the ground. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Play action. Now Williams. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and 10 now from the 27. Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. 
Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll come up facing third and five. Operating from the gun, Williams toward the pylon, caught. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. On is Santos for the Bears' field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Santos' kick is up and through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. Well, now how about this return? And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And the Washington offense heading out. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. To throw is Daniels. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 27. Now their versatile running back. Here's Austin Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now Daniels. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Daniels looking to throw. And he'll score. Touchdown, Commanders. 23 yards for the touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes, you're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good.
Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. They'll find Everett there complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Here's second and three. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. To throw, it's Williams. Buying time to his left. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Here's Williams. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Throwing is Williams. And it's caught. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. From the two now, second and goal. Swift will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Yeah, touchdown. I love it. Now it's only a two-point game. I know it's the first half, but you've got to think 
Go for two. Tie it up. Go into the locker room. What are you doing? Come on. You're bold. You're bold. It's real easy to be bold sitting up yeah, here rather is, than right? down we, there and making that decision. We don't have to make those decisions. Either way, little time left on the clock here in the second quarter. We'll see how this all plays out. Santos now to add the PAT. And this is now a one-point game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The commander's offense and Terry McLaurin headed back onto the field. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. Slings this deep from McLaurin. That's caught inside the 20. The Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Daniels. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Robinson is in. Touchdown, Commanders. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Cybert on for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to go to work once more. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll get the lead down to five. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels getting set for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. 
And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Back to throw. Daniels. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're secure in the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Robinson with another carry. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. The Bears offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Looking to throw is Williams. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. To the air, Williams. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. They'll give him four yards there, and now that sets up third and two. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. 
They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and nine. Throwing again here, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. To throw, Williams. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. The commander's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now second and nine. Play action, now it's Daniels. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Daryl Taylor got in there to drop him. Like how they've started the third quarter here, they force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely, maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Working out of the gun, Daniels. That's to the sideline and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Well, pretty woeful there. Just 23 yards on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The visitors' offense and running back DeAndre Swift headed back onto the field. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. 
And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Williams from the gun on third down. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. A huge play there for Chicago. 45 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll fake the give, now Williams. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football. But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Uh, he's got it. And the Bears are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Johnson is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Matt Eberflew is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. Williams going to throw for it. And he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury and we'll be back in a moment. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. 
I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block... Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jaquan Brisker, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. They need 18 yards here on third down. To the air goes Daniels. And this is caught. It's Brown. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Play action. Now Williams. He'll drop this one off to Swift. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Operating from the gun, Williams flushed out right. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on to kick it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. Well, the home team's offense and their wide receiver getting set for this next possession. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. On second down, another shot for Robinson. 
And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Now Daniels. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They were trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep to force the incompletion? We might need to mark this one down. We may look back and say that was a game-saving play. Daniels looking to throw. Complete to Zacchaeus. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing now is Daniels. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Daniels. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Give to Robinson on the option. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he gets it down to the 32. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay gain. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 17-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Back to throw again. This is caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal.
Again, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Robinson will score. Touchdown, Commanders. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Here's Williams. He'll get this into the hands of Adunze. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Throwing is Williams. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. To the air once more, Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. They'll try it now with Swift. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. 
The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Right, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Off the play fake. Daniels. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll run again here with Robinson. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here is third down and four. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Seibert's kick is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the made field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So now the Bears down by seven. Exactly one minute remaining. 
How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Back to throw. Gets this to Moore. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. He'll look middle here and get it to Adunze. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This one came right down to the wire, and CD they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because while they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.